Yo, what is up guys and welcome in another track their video as I promised on yesterday's video today I am going to show you the garage mod and This is going to be a very crucial thing unlocks a new level of customization That's never been done before and I am going to show you that very quickly So we're gonna go into the garage mod and on the upper left corner of the screen you're going to click load and as you can see, you're gonna have to go into the streaming assets folder on track they are on bikes and then you're going to select the bike that you want to modify. In this case, I do have ready the um, the 450 and I'm going to load it up right now. And pretty much what this tool allows you to do is modify almost everything of the bike from the base setup, which I wouldn't touch this. So this is like, th this can mess the bike up. So I wouldn't touch this right now. I'm going to focus on all the other aspects of the, uh, of the tool. And we're going to start off with what I think is going to be one of the most used uh, section of this tool, which is the handle. So pretty much what this tool, what, uh, what this thing does is modify the rider position on the bike completely free you can pretty much <laughs> fuck this guy up if you want and make it the absolute goonest riding style possible and how that works is pretty much you go over with the mouse you select what you want to work on at the moment as you can see we selected the right foot and the right foot has been selected you're going to see the rotate rotation axis and the uh, moving axis and as you can see you can pretty much move it wherever you want so I'm going to create a different riding position today and I'm going to show you how that's going to work so we're gonna start off with this foot I would like to have it a little bit further back like on the tippy toes right here a little bit further out on the peg and a little bit rotated inward like this and we are gonna wanna do the same on the left foot. So we're going to select the left foot as well. This is quite easy, pretty much is the same for all the parameters that you see here. And I'm gonna show you one by one how I do that. So we're going to move the foot a little bit back on the peg and we're going to move it out a little bit and rotate it inward like that. I think that's a little bit exaggerated, so we're going to fix that. Like this. So on the knees, I wouldn't really touch the knees because I did try in the past to modify them a little bit and it can mess up the rider leg animation when you throw that out. Like this isn't really a crucial part of the riding style as you might think the main thing is the, f the 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 feet the hands and the pelvis situation so i wouldn't really touch the knees you can experiment with them you can try and you know move them out in and out but don't try to use the rotational axis because that is going to mess up a little bit the rider animation and it could look too ugly because it's going to twist the leg in some weird way so I wouldn't recommend you guys to touch the knees too much maybe just in and out or up or down but don't go too crazy on that because you can mess mm, mess everything so we're just going to slightly move the knees a little bit not too much and we're going to move on to the hands these actually make quite a big difference on the overall upper body position and I usually like to rotate them like this rotate them inward because i do run in real life really far in levers so it helps me rotate the hands a lot so i'm going to do the same for this guy right here and i am trying to see how much i want the position on the handlebar and as you can see even by rotating this it's changing the angle of the elbow so be careful as well these are like subtle changes not too much the stock rider position on this bike it's quite good i'm not really doing 
too much to it. I'm just moving the hands a little bit because every changes that you make here will make a difference on the animation once you have saved the file. So we are gonna go on the left hand as well. We're gonna modify that. And as you can see, we do have quite a good position of the rider. I am trying to... Okay. I am moving the hands a little bit further down. I don't want the elbows to go too far up because then it will look like a little bit of stiff riding style. I want them a little, bit, a little bit down like this and then we can change the pelvis this also does affect the overall animation and stuff so don't go too crazy like this because you're not gonna be able to if I take the controller you can actually move the rider while you're trying to do this this is not like uh, static and as you can see I move the pelvis all the way up and when I sit down it does not sit down so be careful on what you're doing here boys always remember you can keep the sitting down pressed and kind of move the rider in the position that you would like it to sit as you can see this looks quite a bit good I would like to have it sitting a little bit further back I do like a little bit more of a middle seat position on corners which gives me room to move forward and backward so I think I am going to push him back a little bit more okay so this looks good to me okay so once we do have a position that kinda we like we can go over to the left side on the bottom and we can hit save and this is going to automatically save our rider position and we can go straight into gameplay and see how the changes affect everything you can always go back and change stuff so don't worry about that you can then save a separate file to always keep it in uh, in some safe place because sometimes with the updates it tends to reset to the default position and you can just straight load the uh, old rider position that you've made so don't worry about that okay so once we've done pretty much the rider this is everything that you can do to it so you can modify everything as you wish now we're going to move over to the next one to the left which is cog which means center of gravity what this does is pretty much lets you modify the center of gravity of the bike be very very careful with this one boys i wouldn't really play around with this too much this can really make the bike handle super super bad because if you move it way up up front it's going to pretty much flip you over if you move it way too far back it's you don't you're not going to have a front end uh, grip and so this i would really say you can play around with this and maybe find fine tune the handling of what you like and what you don't like but in my opinion make small changes don't go too crazy with this setup right here and as always once you have finished you press save so that covers pretty much the cog we're going to move over to tires which is pretty self-explanatory here I would not change anything beside pressure because I don't know why we can change these values right here but I feel like if we do we are going to break everything because I don't really know what curvature does and I think pretty much touching everything else is going to be counterproductive for us so I would just take a look at pressure here and you can just play around with that for example we have 0 0.27 we can try and bump it up to 0.47 see what happens and then you know just test everything out but don't go too crazy in this you can break the game so be careful just touch the pressures and you should be set as always after you've done you press save and it's going to overwrite the save file of the bike we're going to move over to suspension again you know we have a lot of stuff that we can change such as the preload and you know the spring tension and stuff like that as you can see 
there are some black spots and those black spots I don't think you should be touching them so we're just going to pretty much take a look at the preload and the compression and the rebound you know the usual stuff don't touch the other stuff because y again you can <laughs> you can make an absolute monst monstrosity you can pretty much make the fork uh, slip out of the uh, of the top part and you can make the uh, rear go absolutely nuts so i think in the future this is going to be limited to what you can do but as of right now you have quite a bit of freedom in the dev version <laughs> and trust me i've tried you can mess up the bike in the craziest ways so if this is going to still be available in the future remember just play around with the preload and you know the compression and the rebound don't go crazy on the other stuff because you can break everything and as always hit save and then we're going to move over to one of my favorite parts of the garage mod which is the engine tool you know here again right now you can you have the absolute freedom to do everything that you want i could probably make this bike 200 horsepower if i wanted just by changing the uh, torque points on the rpm so for example i'm going to show you guys i'm go i i want it to go to 60 horsepower for example i'm going to play around with the values right here let's try to hit a crazy number let's go to 70 and as you can see just by doing that we have 88 horsepower <laughs> at uh 9000 maximum torque at 9000 rpm and max power 88 at 9000 so you know be careful again with this setup right here because <laughs> because this could be this could be quite heavy you could pretty much have a pretty big advantage to other people but this is something that we're gonna cover in the future with you know what limitation you can run in the servers as well because otherwise people are just going to max out everything and have the absolute craziest power bikes so again this is just a first version but i wanted to do a video to cover this before the major drops so you guys kind of have an idea on how everything works this is not the final version and remember in the multiplayer i don't know how this is going to work out if there's going to be limitation on horsepower or everything we're gonna have to discuss everything with the big man on how to pretty much not make people cheat on the tool that you have in the game so we are going to set this back to I think it was 40 if I remember correctly yeah it was 40 so we're going to move over there was also sorry I was almost for, almost forgetting there is the engine brake torque as well this usually right now has been fixed so you probably are never going to touch this because the you don't want an engine brake that's too strong it's going to mess up the gameplay as well you're mainly gonna want to be focusing on the torque curve right here maybe if you want it a little bit more peppy at bottom range you're going to work on the lower rpm if you wanted to you know um, have more throw and have higher rev limiter you're going to move the rev limiter a little bit higher here so yeah this is something that you can play around and as of right now we don't have limitation on how much power we want of course it's gonna make the bike unrideable with too much power because the game works super well right now but the main thing is going to be pretty much on the multiplayer stuff so people don't cheat so that's pretty much does it with the engine we're going to move over to the drivetrain again this does offer a huge range of modification to the bike because yes we can change the sprocket the front pinion and the rear sprocket we can change the uh, the values like in real life you know with the bigger and the smaller sprocket and stuff like that but what you can always change what you can also change with this thing is the inside ratio of the gears and the gears ratio um, singularly so you can have let's say a short first three gears and then you can have the fourth and fifth super long or you can have the third quite long and then fourth and fifth shorter for supercross and you can also change the inside ratio so pretty much the inside ratio is going to have effect on all the parameters so if you change this and make it longer you don't need to change the front and rear sprocket or you can change the front and rear sprocket and then change the inside ratio to have the kind of um, the 
how to say it like you have the best feeling that you like you can pretty much you can spend days tuning this stuff right here i did tune a little bit and you know it does offer a level of freedom that's super crazy so this is going to be very crucial especially for super cross tracks i feel like because on nationals you know you kind of like the long gearing and then you play around with that but for super cross tracks this is going to be a crucial uh, crucial tool for sure then we can move over to the base setup right here as you can see we do have quite some weird stuff i did try an experiment uh, off camera and i can tell you that these values right here i must not be touched you can play around with the rake don't go too crazy with this one this is going to affect the steering and offset and trail uh, must not be touched because it's going to mess up the bike so this is not something that you're gonna come here often pretty much i don't think you have ever gonna come here the main thing are going to be the uh, the engine the suspension and then the handle of the uh, of the tool these are gonna be pretty much i think the most used one because they're super simple you pretty much don't risk almost anything in terms of breaking the bike and breaking the game so pretty much this is how the garage mod tool works there could be some changes in the future because this is just a development version of the game this is not the final version of the garage mod as well i know the big man is still working on that we do have some other stuff here that I think I'm going to cover in the future because as you can see I did hit a button and it crashed. So don't worry about that boys as the garage tool evolves I am going to make more videos on that. Now we're going to start the game back up. I'm going to show you the changes that have been made to the riding position and how the bike pretty much um, handles so we're going to wait for the game to load up and then i'll see you on the track okay so here we are on track as you can see the rider is sitting in a completely different position that the stock than the stock one i am riding with erosion on right now so we should be able to see the new erosion that I've been working on on this track. As you can see, the different position of the rider also while standing. It does stand a little bit more upright. I'm going to try to show you guys maybe in a little bit like this. As you can see, we still need to do some tweaking because when he's standing up, he's really, really, really extending the uh the legs so it doesn't really look too good i think i should make it a little bit lower on the pelvis because as you can see is extending a little bit too much in my opinion that's like some hyper extension of the legs so he that's not looking super good at the moment in this case it was just for the video but anyways it's super quick you can just pretty much exit the uh exit the game exit the uh, the track and then go back into the garage mode and tweak it as you wish you're gonna try to throw a whip with this rider position and see what happens and wasn't able to throw it on that big jump i, th I need to fix that part of the track because i feel like that could be a that could be a very big jump to throw whips on but right now it's quite hard and as you can see we did tweak too much the hand so keep in mind boys not all the changes are going to work out as you want so be careful on that as you can see we did move the hand a little bit too much and that's giving us that effect and also i don't like the way that he is standing right now he's pretty much extending his arms a little bit too much in my opinion so i'm definitely gonna go and change that Let's take a screenshot for the video right now and even though it's a little bit dark This is something also super good about this game that the photo tool works amazing without any mods So as you can see we can take some amazing screenshots Boom, this is going to be the thumbnail of the video So that's pretty much gonna be it for today boys. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this video let me know down in the comments below what you think about this garage mod tool 
and thank you so much for the guys that stayed until the end of the video i really appreciate your guys support if you want to support the channel there is a couple of links down below if you want to get access to all my future work uh, there is the link to my patreon this is going to be early access you get to uh, pretty much get early access on my tracks help me out you know let, let me know what works and what doesn't work you will find the patreon link down in the description below i think this is going to be all for today boys thank you so much i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you have a great day and i will catch you in the next one peace